Hello guys and welcome to my second Math Kangaroo test paper for level 1 and 2 that I will be doing. This time it's 2015 in the USA, same thing, 75 minutes, 24 questions. Once again, level 1 and 2. Hope you enjoy this and I hope it helps. So let's start with the three point questions. Number 1, look closely at these four pictures. Which figure is missing from one of the pictures? So let's go through all of them. Let's go for option A. Let's cancel these out from every single picture. And if it's in there, then it's not correct. B. Okay, so B is not the answer either. C. Then D. Oh, it's missing here. D is our answer. Let's just double check E though. Okay, so the answer is D because it is missing here. Okay. Number two. Find the piece missing from the house on the right. So here's the missing piece. Let's draw a line so it's very helpful. Now you can either just look at the aspects or you can like try to fit it using your imagination. Um, like you can see... I'll do both. So using your like checking in your head, you can see that B is the answer. <laughs> but let's see the aspects of each shape. This one, C cannot be it because it has three staircase thingies, whereas this one has one and then two. So not, wait, oops, not C. Now D. D cannot be it because it has this thing, which is not here. A cannot be it because it only has one of these edges where this one has one and two. Then E. E cannot be it because this is way too, like, you know, tiny. This is too tiny. Like, this stump is much bigger. So, not E. So, that's why B in both ways is our answer. Number three. There are five ladybugs shown to the left. How many spots are there on all the ladybugs together? So you can count it, which is very easy. So one, two, one, two, three, or like just, or you can like add them two, then three, then three, then five, then six equals 11. This equals eight. Then when you do 11, Plus 8, you get 19, which is C. Number 4. Which of the following pictures can be rotated so that it will be the same as the picture shown to the right? So, let's start with A. It cannot be A, because when it is looking that way, it will be turned upside down. Like, you can pretend that you're rotating it, and you can see that it would be upside down. B, like for this one, you're going to have to look at the very tiny details. B is looking the wrong way because when you turn it this way, you know that like it would be looking this way. So can't be B. C, as we said earlier, when it's upside down, it's looking the same direction as A. So it can't be C. Now D, this, this is wrong because the tail is looking is the wrong direction. When it's looking down, you know that it goes this way, so the tail would still be this way. Okay, so it can't be D. E is correct. It's the opposite of D, and which it has the tail the right way. Like it's opposite in tails, I guess you could say. Okay, number four. I mean, number five, sorry. What does the tower shown to the right look like from above? We can eliminate all C, D, and E. Because... There's no squares anywhere, and then this is way too long. Now, these are the only shapes. So, at first, you might be thinking it's A because there's a triangle. But if you were to, like, get a cone or something, since the cone is, like, like curved in, it would, like, show what's underneath it. And then, if since you're looking at it from above, you'll see everything. And that would just show a circle because that's what's on the other sides of the cone. 
Like a cone is a circular base with a triangle top, and the triangle top would reveal the circular base, making it look like a circle. Number six. The diagram to the left shows six numbers. What is the sum of the numbers outside the square? So these are the numbers in the square, so we can just get rid of them, I guess. And then these are the numbers in the circle. I mean, it's in the circle and outside the square. So 8 plus 2 equals 10, which is E. Number 7. Half of a movie lasts half an hour. How long does the whole movie last? So half an hour is 30, is 30 minutes, but we don't really have to know that because if half a movie is half an hour to get it to a full, like see, they're both half. So that means a full movie, like to get from half to one, you have to multiply it by two. So from half an hour, so same thing applies to here. Half an hour, and you multiply it by two, same, same way how you do it for the movie, you would get one whole hour. So that is C. Number eight. Eric has 10 identical metal strips, all shown over here. He used screws to connect pairs of them together in five long strips. Which connected strip is the shortest? So as you notice, if they are like the less dots here, the longer it is. So we're going to have to find the one with most dots. So A has one, B has five, C has three, D has two, and E has four. So we know that obviously one is less than five, three is less than five, two is less than five, and four is less than five, meaning B is the shortest. Another way to do this is just literally look at them and see which one looks shortest. Like A, C, and D look, and E look much longer than B. Now on to the four point questions. There are 11 flags on, on the straight racetrack. The first flag is at the start and the last flag is at the finish. The distance between each flag is four meters. How long is the track? So like, look at your hand. You know, there are five fingers, but between them there are only four gaps. So we so we know that it's like whatever like number of objects minus one equals the gaps. So same thing applies here. The number is eleven minus one equals the gaps, which is ten. And in the gap, so each gap is four meters. So ten times four equals forty. So if you just did eleven times four. And got 44, that is incorrect. You have like questions, I don't, well, most of the time won't be that easy for one thing, but you're gonna have to know that it's, um, there are only 10 gaps, not 11. Number 10 Marco has nine pieces of candy, then Tomo has 17 pieces of candy. How many pieces of candy does Tomo need to give to Marco so that each boy has the same number of pieces of candy? So, Marco has nine, and then Tomo has 17. So if you notice, let's just add, let's say Tomo gave one. So like first let's calculate the difference so far is eight, but when Marco gives one, he loses one. So 16 and he gains one. So it would be, now let's see the difference. It would be six. So the, every time Tomo gives one to Marco, it's increased by two, right? So. He start, so it would be first when the first one's given it would be six. Then when the second one given it would be four difference. Like this is the difference. When this is just zero, we're done. Then two. And then zero. Wait, sorry. This is three. And then this is zero. Four. So the answer is four, which is C. Yeah. Okay, on to number eleven. Martha built six towers using gray cubes and white cubes as shown in the picture to the right over here. She made each tower using five cubes. Cubes of the same color do not touch. How many white cubes did she use? We can literally ignore the gray cubes. And we can just see that there's six of them, two whites in each, six 
times 2 equals 12. We do not even have to worry about the gray cubes. Okay, number 12. When written as 5 slash 5 slash 2015, the date May 5th, 2015 has three fives. The next release date that will have three fives is... Okay, we can immediately rule out B because that's the past, so it will never come back again. So let's write this and see if it works. 5, 10, 2015. Nope, only two fives. So can't be A because there's only one and then two. Now on to this one. 5 slash 25 slash 2015. Let's see. There, This does work, but it might not be the earliest, so let's check the other ones, because it asks the earliest up here. Okay. Now, let's go on to D. This would be written as 5, comma, wait, no, sorry. This one is, I got confused. Uh, sorry. This one is actually 1, because January is 1, and this one is 5, and then 2055. This works, but let's go on to E. Now, May 15th, 2015. 5, 1, 5, 2015. This also works. Now, let's see which one of them is the earliest. So, D cannot be the earliest because 20. 2055 is greater than this, which is means, and it's closer to this. So, can't be D. Option number E, uh, compared to C, now we just, there's same month, same year, now we come down to the smallest, dif like the smallest difference, which is the days. And we know that 25 is greater than 15, so that means 15 is closer to 5, Meaning that the answer is E. Okay, 13. Emil placed the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 correctly in the boxes in the diagram on the right. What number did he place in the box with the question mark? So the way to do this, you can either guess and check, which won't take too long. But the quicker method during the test that you should use is figure out which like two pairs of these numbers will will make the number that is not cho like is not chosen there. So the, so we can figure out that because this has to equal that and this has to equal that. So we know that five equals two and three and one and four. Like and no other number has that property because five added with anything does not equal any of the other numbers. It can only be subtracted to get that number. That will take a, there, that's better. So the answer is five. Number 14. Vera invited 13 guests to her birthday party. She had two pizzas and each of them was cut into eight slices. Each question, at, each person at the party ate one slice of pizza. How many slices of pizza were left over? Many people that I've seen would get, would try to rush and get, like, would get confused with, like, not confused, but they think that that they will get it wrong because they rush. My point being is, there's 13 guests, and each of them have two pizzas. Many of them will just say, oh, 2 times 8 equals 16. That's correct. And then subtract 16 minus 13 and get 3 as their answer. But this is wrong. Vera is also a person that eats pizza. So it would actually be 13 plus 1 because of Vera is one person, and it would be 14. So no, 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 no. Okay, so now we can subtract 16 minus 14, and it, we get 2. So the correct answer is 2. 15. Don has two identical bricks on the picture, like right here. Which figure can he not build using the bricks? So, these bricks. You know, like many of the questions earlier, multiple choice, I like it. It's so much easier because 
he like for like for example take this uh where'd it go yeah take this one multiple choice it only gives you five options and so you can just like keep them or that's not really a good example there's some like better examples coming up like here on number 17 i'll explain it later why i like multiple choice anyway 15 let's see so these two bricks can be here 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 see uh oh it can't be done you can either have it here then it these two would separate but if you put it here this cannot happen so d can happen and then e stacked on top so the answer is c because it asked for which one of these can he not build which piece is missing from the puzzle to the right so we can use process of elimination to eliminate two of these so um um it can't be c because there is one of these type of thingies so and this one has all three of these so no c then it can't be d because it has two of these star things like like stars without this black filling but this time we have to, we need to have two of the black ones so no d so now we work with these let's we can try them so we can rotate it to every like in a, in the angle where it only has to rotate one side meaning this would be over here and this one and then yeah so this one has to be here so it can not work now b if you rotate it this thing will be at the top so it cannot work even this with a which when you rotate it this will be to the left side so yeah so it will just be one position more so if this is on the left side it will be at top so Oh wait, sorry, did I cross it out? I meant to circle it. Okay, number 17, five points. Now I'll tell you why multiple choice is so good. In one jump, Jake the kangaroo jumps from one circle to a neighboring circle along a line, as shown in the picture to the right. He cannot jump into any circle more than once. He starts at circle S and needs to do exactly four jumps to get to circle F. He starts at circle S and yeah, okay. And he needs to make exactly four jumps to get to circle F. And how many different ways can Jake do this? So we can rule out A, C, and E because this is symmetrical. So anything he does on this side, he has he also has to do on this side. So no A because it's odd, no C because it's odd, and no E because it's odd. So that it makes it so much easier. Now you can just try like path. Now you can just try paths because if this was not multiple choice, you can you like. It would be like harder to decide sort of and like for many questions you if we're to ask what is the like result you can like quickly like put in numbers because they're multiple choice only five options and it will happen but if it was not multiple choice and you didn't know it was there was just one correct like they didn't give you any options you just have to get it you can't guess or check because there would be thousands of numbers so it doesn't really apply for 17 either i gotta see what it applies but anyway Lesson learned, multiple choice is the best. Any okay, so let's make the path now. So we already know that this is obviously one path. That means that also I'm not going to do it on this side so because if it happens here, it happens there. So that's one path. So then he can go here. So let's just draw this. That's two paths. These are tallies, by the way. And then the last possible path is just cut, 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 cut. So that's the third path. Okay, so this is on one side. So this is equal to three. Since it has to be symmetrical, meaning one and then two. Three times two equals six. D. 18. A ship was attacked by pirates. One by one, the pirates climbed a rope to get to the ship. The pirate captain was the eighth person to climb, pirate to climb, and there were as many pirates in front of him as behind him. How many pirates climbed the rope? So we know he was the eighth one. That means that the seven people were ahead of him because he is the eighth one, not eight people ahead of him. So seven, then then this is like the eighth but it's actually just one person the captain and then 
since it's the same number behind him as in front of him, also 7. So we just add this. Equaling 15, which is D. 19. For three days, Joy the cat was catching mice. Each day, Joy caught two mice more than the previous day. On the third day, Joy caught twice as many mice as on the first day. In total, how many mice did Joy catch during the three days? So we know that on well, the first day, plus two to get the second day. I mean, like, yeah, so then plus two to get the third day. And then we know that this times two. So if it was 12, like, let's ignore, like, uh, pretend that this doesn't exist. Okay, pretend that doesn't exist. So if it was 12, so for it to meet this, it would have to be 2, 4, and 6. But as you know, now let's take this into account again. 6 and then 2, so 6 and so 2 times 2 does not equal 6. So no A. Now let's go to B. For it to be B, it would have to be 3... 5 and 7. Now let's take this into account. 3, okay, 3 times 2 equals not 7. Okay, now C. For it to be C, it would have to be 4, 6, and 8. This time though, 4 times 2 does equal 8. So the answer is C, but let's see. 20 is not even possible following the first rule, so 20 is a definitely no. Then E, for it to be that, it would be 6, 8, and then 10, and then, oops, I should write it there, but it doesn't really matter. So then 6 times 2 does not equal 20, I mean 10. So it is C, number 20. The numbers 3, 5, 7, 8, and 9 were written in, in the squares of, of the cross, which is right over here. So the sum of the numbers in the row is equal to the sum of the numbers in the column. Which number was written in the central square? So the way to do this is find any two of the numbers over here of 3, 5, 7, 8, or 9. So pick, so there's going to be number. so pick so I'm just going to use X and then Y, and so Z, and then A. So these are just pretend like variables for numbers. So any of these has to be equal when added to the same thing, and then the one that's left out would be in the middle. So the one that work is 7 plus 5, which is X and Y, equals 3 plus 9, which is Z and A. So that means 7, 5, 3, 9, meaning that the one that's left is A, which is the odd one out. That is the worst 8 I've drawn here. 21. My grandmother has a dog named Atos, as well as some ducks, hens, and geese. She has 40 animals altogether. She has four times as many geese as ducks. Atos and the hens make up one half of all her animals. My grandmother has, and then the options. So, since Atos and the hens make one half, so half times 40 over 1, so 40 times 40 equals 40 divided by 2, and then 40 divided by 2 equals 20. Since Atos is one animal, only one dog, that is means there are 19 hens, so it would be half. So, it can't be this. Or this. So now for the other 20, she has five times as many, oh sorry, four times as many geese as duck. So geese equals d times four. And then that means d times four, because that's the amount of geese, plus duck, plus one duck, because this is, pretend this is geese and this is duck, equals 20. So we can use this as D1, so that means 5D, so 5 ducks, equals 20, meaning 1 duck is 20 
divided by 5, and that is 4. So that means it can't be 8. So now we just have to subtract 20 minus 4. We get 16, and that is D, not C. Number 22. One of the six stickers shown below was placed on each side of, of the six faces of a die. The next picture shows the die in two positions. Which picture is the opposite is the is on the face opposite the face with the kangaroo sticker? Okay. Let's see. Okay, I already figured out what's the opposite of the star. It's this this one. So this is how it works. Here, when it's tilted up, the green one, it has this to here. So when it's tilted up this way, then this star would still be there, but this time it's flipped, like flipped around so that the circle would be showing, meaning the star is now over here. It can't be A or C because they are opposite. So that means it can't be opposite with the uh, kangaroo. Now, same thing, we can rule out this and this because when it's here and then there's this here, when it rotates this way, the the square would be here, meaning it's opposite to this. So that means this is with here, meaning that you're left with this having to be the face of the kangaroo. Okay, number 23. Sylvia, Tara, Una, and Wanda went out for dessert. They stood in line one after another. Each of one of them ordered one of the following desserts, ice cream, waffle, bun, and cake. And each one ordered a different item. We know that the first girl did not buy the ice cream or the waffle. Una was not last in line and she bought the cake. Sylvia, who was standing behind Tara and in front of Una, did not buy the waffle. So I already know that Wanda has to be last because in front of Una is Sylvia and Tara because if Tara is in front of Sylvia and Sylvia is in front of Una, Tara also, therefore, has to be in front of Una. So, Wanda's last because if Wanda was supposed to be before Una also, then Una would be forced to be last. So, Wanda, then Una, then, like, you can figure the rest out using this, and then Tara. So, it says, the first girl did not, so, like, first we can rule this out, because Una is not second in line, she's third, and Wanda was not first in line, she was last. And then... Let's see, the first girl did not buy ice cream or waffle. So that means Tara cannot have I or waffle. I think waffle's breakfast though. I might be wrong. Okay, so Tara cannot have B. Then Sylvia bought the bun. Let's see if that's true. Well, we know that Una bought the cake. So cake goes to Una, meaning that there's only one left dessert, one dessert that Tara has to get, which is the bun. So she gets the bun. Meaning that this cannot be happened, meaning C is correct. So between these, they either get ice cream. Between these two, they either get ice cream or waffle. We do not know which, so one of the possible cases that is shown is the waffle. And it's nowhere does it say anything about Wanda having ice cream or Sylvia having waffle or ice cream. Meaning that C has to be the answer and Wanda got the waffle. 24. We left for a summer camp yesterday at 4.32 p.m. Note, like, emphasis on yesterday. So, like, you have to know that it's yesterday and not today. And to go, got to our destination today, this time it's today, so not yesterday, at 6.11 a.m., how long did we travel? So, to get to, so first of all, we can rule out E, because this is p.m., meaning, and this is a.m., and to get to here, you'll have to first do 12 hours and then some more time. So let's do that. 12 hours from 4.32 p.m. would be the next day, a.m., 4.32. So let's write 12 hours, 4.32. 4.32 a.m. So now we can do one more hour to get to 5.32, and that would be another one hour. So we can do one. And now, 
If you wanted to, you can do another one hour and then subtract it from 611, which is, I think is the quicker way. So one more hour. So it would be 632. And then you can subtract 32 minus 11. And you can get 20. Uh, one. So you have 14 hours at the moment. And if you subtract, like one hour is equal to 60. So minus one equals 13 hours and then you have 60 minutes left over from because we changed this into 60 minutes so we can do that 60 minus 21 we get 29 because this is 10 this is 5 okay 29 so that means 39 hours so that means the answer is a 13 hours from here and then 29 minutes from here so that was the 2015 level one and two test paper. I hope I solved it and everything I did made sense. If not, you can put questions in the in the comments. And yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy my further videos. Bye. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification button.